Anybody want to play catch? Come on, let's have a game. I've got it. I've got the ball. I've got the ball. Well, I'm out fishing again, <laughs> and it is something. It's a little conger. Okay, so we're going to get him off of there. I mean, they are, he is small, but at least he had a go at the bait, and at least, well, at least I've caught something. Okay, I've got two other rods out there as well. Um, but this rod, I didn't really expect to catch too much. I was going to use this rod for a little bit later on. To have a go at... Um, mackerel fishing perhaps all right all right let's get this little one off of here and back to the sea <laughs> oh dear they don't off they don't off make a mess of your rigs if you let them dear me let's get them off you know what i've put this small little rod out something's interested in that something keeps on hitting that you'll see in a moment it will just bounce around something's hitting that you know what i think it's eels and I'm casting out in a different direction. I'm, I'm kind of over, over to the left there. Anyway, um, yeah, it keeps on getting knocks, but I'm sure it's it's eels. Yeah, eel, eels are picking at that. Oh well, oh they don't have to chew your line up, and they I had to cut my. Uh, I had to cut the rig just now and and repair it, you know. Mm, but I hadn't been out there. I only cast it out about five minutes ago, and already it's been hit by something. Ah oh, well. But that's how I've got it set up. <laughs> I've got a bungee strap around my box there, and um, I've used that technique quite a lot. That's <laughs> pretty successful. Ah oh, well, I'm going to pick up that rod and actually feel what's on the end and then I'm going to strike and I'll bet it's another reel. Just rebaiting everything. And look, something's something's interested in this. Right, look, oh good, good, good. I'm gonna try and reel that in. I just I did try just now and uh, I missed it. So some, I let it go like a three foot in in a bit. I uh, realised I'd lost the fish, like I have now, maybe. Right, let's try getting it in. Come back to that and see it. See if anything bites on it again. We give it a few more minutes, and uh, we'll keep the camera rolling just in case it picks up on it. Look at this. Other people's rubbish.
hooked Wessex rig and something's something's getting it. We'll rebait and we'll try again. Today, a little bit of squid there, which I'm going to tip that, put that on the ends of the hooks, and tip that off. And the other thing I got is um, salted razor fish. Um, yeah, let's try them. I got some sand eels as well. See how well we do. Um, I had something in there, reeling it in, it got to be honest, it looked like a dogfish, probably one of the very big dogfish. I got it into, you know, like, oh, 15 feet away from the shore, and then it uh, managed to get, jump off and, and I lost it. But you know what, fish are here now, so that's good. First light, mm, let's try again. Well, I'm sure this is what I nearly caught just now. But I got the bugger this time, and it's the first dogfish I think I've caught this year. So um, let's get him off that line and get him back to the water. Well, there he is. Right, let's get him back to the water. I know I'm going to get my feet wet here. Right, gone and spit up. Let's swim away in a minute. It would help if I swam in the right direction. Go on, darling, there you go. Let's get you out a little bit further then. Right, now he's gone away. Oh, right, oh. Oh, well, didn't blank then, did I? Well, I got that eel as well. But I'm watching those lines up there because they've started doing something. The tide's on its way out and I've just caught a whiting. So, quite pleased with that. Let's get him off that hook, get him back. 